Hello! This is the first workshop in plant milks. Today we will learn how to make any type of nut milks. First question is what type of nut can we use? In fact, we can use any raw nut, but also peeled, roasted or even salted. Be careful in this last case, because in some countries, especially with very hot weather, they put a lot of salt uh, to conserve it better than nuts. So careful with this. We can also use ground nuts. Uh, watch out that they should be recently milked or your milk will get a rancid flavor. Second question, do we need to soak the nuts? It depends. If they are soft nuts, like for example cashews or peanuts, pine nuts, pistachio or any type of walnut, Brazil nut, European, macadamia, we don't need to soak them. However, if we are going to use almonds or hazelnuts, we do recommend you to soak them between two and eight hours because they are harder and because by soaking them we make them more digestible. So, third question, water. To, to make nut milks, we use room temperature water, except in the case of coconut milk. And if you are interested in this, uh, we have a short and nice video in plantmilk.org. Now, let's start doing an almond milk. water one liter of water we place the filter 100 grams of almonds remove the water you used for soaking now pinch of salt pinch of salt in all recipes we've seen in europe asia actual and ancient they use salt if by any reason you cannot take it just don't use it now blender one minute one minute if you use ground nuts about two minutes if you use whole nuts as I'm, I am doing right now softly do not force your blender your stab mixer let it flow gently this is a beautiful process because right now we are blending or milling the nuts and at the same time we are straining it this is why in some countries just like joking they call chufa mix the cheese cloth of the 21 century the muslin cloth of the 21 century and it's nice also because we are not like mm, the blends of the blender they are not stopped they are not uh, not moving i mean they are like you are like looking for the nuts and the ingredients that you are putting inside so this together with the uh, simultaneous blending and straining process what happens is that the emulsion the bruising and the emulsion of the seeds that you put inside it's super powerful okay when i don't listen crunching inside the seeds and I see this foam in here it's ready between one and two minutes filter out with nuts we need to with a wooden spoon or a spatula just stir a little bit and finally we insert the mortar 
Now we squeeze the last drops of the essence of the leftover. This is a very important process also. It's super simple in Chufa Mix, super simple, but it's really important because in these uh, little drops of, is the big part of the essence of our nut milk. We don't have to push hardly, also gently. So, now, lid, we have it ready, lid and to the fridge, between three and six days. Always conservate it in the fridge. Let me just taste it, this is the part I more like from doing demonstrations. Mmm! Nice, nice, pure almond milk. This is like, <clears throat> they like it in Northern Europe, pure. My friends, my son, Anli, Iwa, they will be very happy to see me doing this type of pure almond milk. But now, let me please show you uh, how to play a little bit with chufa mix. I mean, imagine that you're at home you taste it, boom, 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 and by any reason you don't like it at all. You don't feel this wow that we need to feel when we take a plant meal that is well elaborated. So it's very easy. Just remake. It only takes you two minutes. It's like when we're doing a sauce in a pan and we just are like uh, tasting it to see if, we, if, if it has the right point of salt, of pepper, of spices, whatever. So now look how easy it is. We take the filter with the same pulp left over. Just put it again. And now uh, we remake. For example, right now I'm going to do uh, the milk as they do it in the Mediterranean, especially in Italy. In Italy they, they like it very, very creamy and instead of 100 grams they put 200 grams. So I'm going to add, not 100, but I'm going to add some almonds to make it more creamy taking account that Italy, uh, Spain, they are nut producers. Maybe they have it uh, more affordable, the nuts, and maybe this is the reason why they like it more creamy, they can put more quantity. Okay, now, in Italy also they like it very, very tasty, playing with a lot of natural flavorings. So we're going to do this by adding some cinnamon. Instead of cinnamon, you can add vanilla. The cinnamon, we can use it in powder, I'm gonna put a little bit in powder or the branch. You just break it, just break it and put it inside. So cinnamon, instead of cinnamon, remember, van possible, vanilla. Now, lemon, lemon, uh, peel of the lemon. With one lemon, we can be like, make like 30 liters. It depends on the lemon. You have to put a little bit more or a little bit less. I'm gonna add this peel of the lemon. Finally, sweetener. In Italy, Mediterranean also, they take the nut milk, the almond milk, they take it sweet. So I'm gonna add some uh, local sweetener. Uh, right now I am in Borneo, this is why it's very hot, I'm swearing here. And uh, here the local favorite sweetener, it's called Gula Malacca. Gula Malacca. And, um, well, it's made from coconut palm. Uh, it's this, you can see it, it's not liquid, it's just like solid uh, sweetener. And local people, they love it here. It's also very used in all Malaysia. So, as I don't have anything else, I'm gonna use this sweetener. But of course you can use stevia, agave, um, I don't know, any type of maple syrup, any type of sweetener, yeah? Now, Blend again. Gently. I don't push. Firstly, I just wait. And the stab mixer will tell us when we can go down. So, very gently. This blender has also a high speed position. Personally, I only use the uh, high speed position when I make uh, meats from very small seeds, like hemp seeds, like sesame, uh, quinoa, but in normal seeds and nuts and cereals, 
normally I use the normal position. Okay, so again, I'm not listening anything crunching inside. And I see this foam here, so I know it's ready. I know it's ready. Very important, if I'm at home, when I make my milk, it doesn't matter if it's nut milk or cereal or small seeds milk. Now I let the chufa mix and the milk like this. And I forget like 10, 15 minutes, I let it marinate in. The, uh, our milk will get better with more body, more flavor and more, uh, a, a better texture even. So uh, I'm not gonna wait now, of course, not gonna make you wait. So I continue, but just you to know this trick again, wooden spoon, little bit, only with nuts, because they are very, very oily. Now, mortar, we squeeze the essence of the leftover pulp. Mmm, I love this part of Chufa Mix. It's so simple, but it's so, so, so nice. Okay, so now we have the new remaked milk. Take a look. It's so, so creamy, like they like it in Italy, in the Mediterranean. Gonna taste it. It's a spectacle. It's not better than the pure one. It's just different. It's Mediterranean. So you can do it pure. You can play with flavors. You see how to do it. Now, uh, the pulp. With this pulp, please do not throw it. And at any case, and at any case throw it uh, on your sink or it will block it. Uh, with this pulp, we can make raw pate with herbs. We can make a homemade organic Nutella like in five minutes. Uh, we can make really a lot of things. So go into plantmilk.org and there you, you have a lot of recipes uh, where we explain how to recycle this marvelous pulp. Now, let me show you another trick, very important. Nuts are very expensive normally. And with this trick, you will be able to obtain one liter and a half instead of one liter, extra half liter. So what we will do is super easy. We will just add our milk or put our milk into a jar. Okay. Into a jar. Now, we add half liter more of half liter more of water. The trick, the same pulp, the same leftover pulp, filter. Now, the blender again. Very softly. Gently. This I am doing right now, it's called the second extraction. And it's incredible because we've been the last months investigating about plant milks in history. You will see this in, uh, in an article in plantmilks.org. And in very, very old manuscripts, they talk about the second extraction. Okay. <clears throat> now, out, I can straight forward with the mortar because I only made half liter. So, strain, squeeze the last drops of the pulp essence again, and here we have, by the face, half liter more with the same quantity of nuts. Please take in account, this half liter is more watered down than the first one we made. So, 
you can use it as they did thousand years ago for cooking its second extraction it's perfect for cooking or the other trick very very nice look we mix this half liter with the first liter that we make and now we take this liter and a half we put it in the fridge and tomorrow you won't even feel the difference because all plant milks not only nuts all plant milks do get better when they rest some hours in the fridge we finished this workshop you already learned today how to milk nuts and in the next chapter we will show you how to milk cereals so see you soon and thanks again for your patience with my awful english bye see you soon